Hey, in this video we are going to be talking about my favorite topic of CSS hands down, my favorite topic, Flexbox. So let's get started. Uh, for this, I want to make a new HTML file. Um, I'll just call it flex.html and I'll make a style flex.css cool 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 let's just quickly make um, HTML colon 5 oops colon 5 flex box okay mm. now let's head over to flex.html okay now we are at flex.html oh wait i haven't saved it uh, um okay it seems we have to reload the server okay and uh, now i want to make a div which will be our container div so uh, I want to show you a really cool thing. Um, if we give like we want to make a h1, we'll give pound uh, title, then it will create a h1 with ID of title. Okay, and if you want to create a div, we can just say we don't need to give a div. It will directly con uh, you know create a div for us with ID container. And if we want to create a class like h1 dot class so it will be h1 of class equal class now here we want to make box and yeah so let's see let's style this um i want to you know select box give them a width of i don't know 50 pixels or 100 i don't know let's give them a border first border three pixel solid gray okay and give a height h-e-i-g-h-t height of 50 pixels again Oh, we haven't connected it yet. That's why I was thinking I'm giving everything and nothing is showing up. Link um style folder and flex dot css flex dot thsh. Here are our you know let's give them a margin. Okay, let me show you. I'll show this using flexbox only guys flexbox will be your ultimate solution to give position to any element okay i promise you this um let's give body a dark color i don't know green uh, oops background color equals green um i'm too hyped okay now container let's select container and just give display equals flex you see what happened you might think that the box or div block level element just uh, you know changed its display to inline elements but that is not what's happening okay if we give uh, flex direction column it'll be you know like before okay so what is exactly flex so when we uh, you know define 
display or give a display property flex of any container element its child we can control the uh, you know position or alignment of its child very very easily let me show you let me open paint really fast ms paint and show you this okay let's see <coughs> we have uh when we uh, you know we have a container okay um certainly doesn't look like a good container but it's okay when we uh, you know define our container as flex we get two axes okay one is main and um you know second is secondary i guess or whatever i don't know what it's called actually let's google it flex box axis axis of a x e s flex axis main axis and cross axis okay main axis and cross axis okay so main axis will be in the direction of flex like when we you know initially set display to flex the flex direction is row as you can see okay so right now this one is main axis and this one is cross axis yeah cross axis now to align um elements along their axis you know uh, main axis we use justify content okay let me give it a border so that you can see what's exactly happening give it 10 pixels border solid red okay actually 10 is 4 pixels border badal <laughs> dot t dotted okay so this is the container and we have aligned them at center okay now we have a couple of uh, different things like default it was flex start okay it this is the start this is the end right and then flex end you know okay cool like you can uh, you know use them in navigation or something let's change the width of you know um i don't know 20 pixels 200 <laughs> okay 100 pixels let's see whoa oh oh 60 pixels let's give it 75 okay now if we want we can give a you know um i don't know actually um, flex uh, space between okay and we can give space around before i save uh say uh, see this space it's at the flex end and the last box is at the flex end and the first box is at first flex start oh that's really hard to say okay now here is space around okay and we even have a space space evenly so it will be spaced evenly cool so this is all about aligning it along the main axis now for cross axis we will need to give a height of you know 400 pixels now you can see it's along the cross axis it is at the flex start right so we use here align items align items flex start it's at the flex start uh, flex end it's at the flex end and as you might might have guessed center 
cool now in the about page we would have used similar thing uh, wait about dot html we would have used similar thing to align this uh, you know in the middle of its uh, you know div hero section right <sighs> cool so that's all about uh, you know aligning it uh, on main axis and I don't know cross axis I always forget that I don't know why okay let's give them uh, wait one two three four five six seven okay the text color is black i guess that's why now we can okay let me show you this um color white okay now we can do this also like first of all let's select font size font size uh, let's make it 1.2 rem in the previous video i showed you what is rem so please go and watch it um if you haven't obviously now let's make um display flex okay we can do this with anything any element actually which contains other element okay and let's justify content center and align item center cool isn't it now let's select let's give them an id also this is gonna take time i guess um let's select everyone you can do this by holding alt key Fuck. oh man this, this is really annoying why 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 would you do this okay finally id equals now i want to give all of them first let's give this second you can fast forward it please fast forward it i'm i think i'm not gonna edit it third because the ones who are following along should you know follow along fifth sixth and seventh though we won't be using all of them hmm now we can add we can use some flex properties on individual elements of a flex container okay like say if we select flex uh sorry third element and let's give it order of minus one you see the third element got you know at the first so we can change the order you know uh, basically um okay whatever uh, you want to you know keep it first you just make it uh, minus one because uh, you know every element has order of zero okay now minus one it will come at first now let's see we want to make four after three here then we can say here minus two and fourth did i say f o u r t h here which one is correct actually i don't know let's google it f o r t h uh f o u r t h 
Okay, I was corrected the first time only. Okay, fourth. Save it and let's give you here and order minus one. Yeah, you get the point right. Initially, every element has ordered zero, and now if you want to, you know, arrange them specifically, you can change their order using flexbox. This order comes under the flexbox. Okay, now. Um, align self. There is align self. Um, flex start. Okay. This is fourth. So flex start. You can individually align item along the cross axis. I guess only along the cross axis. Okay. Flex start. We can say here flex end. Align self. Flex end. Okay. Cool. Now, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Now, for a few, you know, I guess we'll delete this. Let's get to the. Let's get back to this and let's see. Make it two hundred. Is this two hundred? Do you think it's two hundred? Actually, it's not. Basically. When we want to, you know, take exact width, this is wrapping up. You know, if uh, we increase the size of the window, it will increase because it's not exactly two hundred, right? Let me close this. And okay, so now let me show you how can we, uh, you know, see exact. Two hundred and wrap it up inside to the next line. Okay, now you might have guessed when I said wrap, we are going to use flex wrap equals wrap. See, it's looking like a keypad, but it's exactly, you know, uh, what do you call it? Two hundred pixels. Okay, now um, what do you want to say? We have another, you know. Um, aligning property called align content, but it only uh, you know works with multi-line um, elements. If there are multi-line elements, we can use align content. Okay, because align items is only for the I don't know single line. Okay, this. Is uh, where its flex is ending, so that's why everyone is at the flex end, their respective flex end. So we can use this. We can use space around, space between, space around. So you get the gist, right? We have to use this for multi-line for aligning the multi-line elements, and this for aligning the Single line elements. Okay, it's cool. Now, what else? What else? I guess we have uh, completed everything. We have stretch also. Um, okay. Um, it's multi line. So let's see stretch. What the fresh? It's not working. Why? Um, okay, there's a height given. That's why it was not stretching, which did work actually. Space around. Okay, that worked. So yeah, it worked. Uh, stretch. Uh, we can stretch the you know. Elements towards their from flex start to flex end. If we remove the wrap, it will be stretched all over the, you know, um, what you say container. So it's pretty cool. Um. So flexbox is my favorite. I use 
for aligning i use nothing but flexbox it is really convenient it is really easy and it is really really cool i hope you saw that too with a few properties only we were able to align it vertically center horizontally center and it's really really cool but i want to talk about one more thing so these are uh, pretty new features to css okay like uh, last video we saw box shadow and all that's also pretty new feature and the old browsers don't update them you know very frequently so we need to use a few um i don't know prefixes before the uh you know properties so that the uh, new browser new browsers and old browsers uh, can get that it's a new property and we need to use it you know with i don't know just we have to give uh, we have to give the information to the browsers that this is a relatively new property and if you don't support it please you know add support or something like that okay i'll show you um can i use it can i use this is the website i guess can i use dot com okay now here we can use flexbox okay so more search it okay in the opera um i guess this green, wherever is green this is supported okay like android browser it's supported opera mini supported um safari and chrome for ios 13 it's supported opera 66 it's supported the older version of opera does not support it the older version of uh, internet explorer does not support it it has partial support in the newer version so you know the gist you get the gist right but you know uh, we can use um you know where is it flex like we can use uh properties you know prefixes like webkit and all like this uh to you know chrome and uh, safari are uh, to uh, you know chrome and safari are built on webkit so we can use and give the command to webkit but uh, actually i would suggest you to use online prefixer online css prefixer because i never ever remember them so i have to use auto prefixer and let's see if okay so i was talking about this transition i don't think we have i uh, talked about it yet but okay this o is for opera mini webkit is for opera not mini just opera um you know safari and chrome moz is for mozilla firefox and i don't think ie has any uh, yeah prefix so let's see if flexbox we need to give any prefix okay display webkit box it does not support flexbox we have to give webkit box okay now ms flexbox display flex the base command uh, the base you know property you have to give external also you have to you know mention so that it supported throughout the browser so let's just copy it and paste it so this is how you uh, you know css should look like if you want to support it on all of the browsers you know so this is something uh, you might not remember and you should not remember actually because we have css online auto prefixers and other tools also so i would prefer you to use that only so i guess that this is it for this video we just you know save i mean commit our changes to get um learned about um flexbox and css prefixes okay let's commit our changes every time yes
Mm, okay, now we are good to shut it down and please share the video, guys. Please share the video. Uh, that is only important to me. Okay, um, please share the video with your friends. Please share. The I cannot say this enough. Okay, bye.